Looking at the 251B Sea Fox, this thing's going to be 167,000. Boat Show, 134,000. Gel coat colors, this one is actually going to have a Yamaha 300 V6 4.2 liter on it. Coming up here into the boat, got a nice gray, dark gray color to it. Black powder coat on the T-top and leaning post. We've got three seats across the back here with cup holders in between, which makes it nice because they flip up and down. So you've got all the deck area that you would want with a bay boat. And then looking at this right here, rod holders, you can reach these while standing on the platform here. So I like that. You've also got a tackle center there, which is going to, you know, house all your tackle and everything. So you can sit here in the seat and then reach the tackle center. Cooler right there, leaning post. Um, got bolsters, flip up, so you turn it into leaning posts or seats. I do like the sea deck things right here. So a lot of people fishing, you can put your hooks right here and hold all your hooks and stuff, but kind of a catch-all. Push buttons across the front right there. Garmin, GPS's, black acrylic paneling. We got seats right here with backrests, so you can ride up here in the front, hold on right there. And then you've got um, a good seat right there to come in and out of the, you know, when you're coming and going, got nice seating there. 248S Sea Fox, looking like $156,000, $119,000 here at the boat show, so you're getting like $36,000 off. We've got a single Yamaha 300 v6 4.2 liter engine back here got a three rung ladder c deck on the back looks like you got a live oil back in that back corner another tow rope so you can pull tubers stuff like that the swing door to get in from the transom it's got a backrest on it, so probably another seat cushion you can put there and have seating all the way across the back of the boat here we've got cooler underneath the leaning post rod holders on the leaning post and a nice seat right there, that's interesting. I do like that, that you can have another person sitting here, kind of makes it very sociable. So when you're cruising around, someone can sit here and talk to you know, the passenger and the captain. We got Helmaster EX control box, push button controls across the dash, Garmin GPS phone charger right here. Really, really nice. Got a little catch-all thing right here for miscellaneous stuff to put that in there. Come around to the front of the boat. Looks like we've got a nice layout section here. I like how those are bent back so you can kind of lay out and have like, you know, be laying looking back or you've got these seats right here so you can, you know, sit looking forward right around as the boat's going forward. These are lounge type backs as well. Three cup holders up there on the top. So pretty sandbar ready type of boat. Looking at the 268 Sea Fox Commander. Thing for the boat show price is going to be $143,000. Same gel coat choices right there. This one's got that light blue type look. Looks like we've got twin Mercury, or I mean Yamaha 150s, F-150s on the back here with the DES digital electronic steering, which is very nice. Coming up into the boat, you got the side door right here with the live well right here on the back transom. Again, that aquarium style type where you can look down into the live well and see what's going on there. Here's this other thing that I do like is this, where you got your net, so your bait net right there. You don't lose it, doesn't fly out the boat. That's a nice little compartment. Bench seat all the way across the back. The bolster that flips up so you can sit back there. Four rung ladder, I do like the four rung ladder. Tackle center on the bottom of the leaning post with the cooler like that. Coming up here to the dash, we've got two seats right here with the bolsters that flip up, turn into a leaning post, acrylic single panel dash all the way across with push button controls built into the acrylic dash. I like that, that looks really clean. Mechanical controls on the engines coming up here to the front. Got these kind of rounded gunnels. The bolts, the backrests that flip out for, you know, as you're running along little compartment there that thing will come out so it'll be like a uh, circular seating really nice single lounge chair right here big enough for probably two people and that is going to be it for the oh except for the sunshade got sunshade all the way across the front of the bow so everything stays shaded in the bow of the boat as you are using it at the sandbar in here we've got a head with a sink oh look at that i like that so you got a whole um, dive tank compartment holder there so 
ready for four dive tanks. Actually, it looks like you probably put five dive tanks right there. So you're going to hold, no, just four. So four tanks. Um, that's a nice feature. I like that. Looking at the glass stream power boats this is the 28 GSX. Looks like we're coming in at 212,000 here at the boat show. Normally 263,000. Really nice looking boat. The uh, front totally pointy. Looks really fast. Got a huge steps in the hole. So definitely, definitely pretty sweet. That is interesting. It's kind of like a dip here. I don't know if you can see that in the side, but it's like a dip in the side of the hole. It looks pretty interesting. Popping up in here, looks like we got twin Mercury Verados. Let's see what we got, V8s or V6s? Twin V6 225s, just the four strokes. Um, here in the back, you got live well to the back. Seating here, bench seat across, two live wells. So you got another live well over here to the side. And then here, got some tackle storage in the leaning posts. You got another compartment right here with some charge port. And then coming up to the front, two bolsters that flip up, turn into a leaning post or seats. The dash is acrylic, shiny acrylic. You got the flush mount right there. I just put some fingerprints on there. I am sorry to the cleaners. Push button switches to control everything on the boat. We got trim tab controller, control box, mercury. Nice diagnostic port right there in your um, power in here, radio controller in there. That's pretty nice. I like that. Coming up here to the front, it looks like we've got um, a spot for a table. So that looks like some kind of a slot that'll probably hold a table right here in between these two seats. Bow's got seats all the way around it with some backrest. So you got backrest right here to lounge out on. And then over here to the front, looks like a just one person seater um, thing opens up into the console. So looking at this, we got a head down there. Um, lots of cushions everywhere. That's pretty nice. I do like that. Just a normal head cabin area right there. Close that up and then that is going to be it for this boat. Now we're looking at the Sailfish 312cc. Looks like it starts around 284,000. Shown right now for 9,000, but you can get it for 324,000 here at the boat show. We've got twin Mercury Vrato V10 400s on the back of the boat. Got a nice ladder coming out the back right here. And then a lot of transom space, plenty of rod holders all along the back back there. We've got a live well here in the corner of the back of the boat. Very open, very um, spacious for fishing. I like how this is all set up right here. Looks like uh, in here, what do we got? We got a live well down in there. Let's go ahead and shut that. And then in this one right here, it looks like we've got a sink so you can wash up, kind of use this as a prepping station, tackle storage right there. Looks like that's probably gonna be a seat that pops out. We've got another one right here. Um, if we look in here, nothing there, just a side door to get out to the side of the boat. Looking up here to the front, got the gunnel wide open, two bucket seats, pretty captain-like bucket seats with armrests that flip down, bolsters that flip up and down. Console, got an acrylic black dash with the Garmin's flush mounted. That looks really, really clean, trying to get a good focus on that, kind of hard to see, but toggle rocker or rocker switches all along the top here so that's for the control of everything got our vessel view for the for the mercury system got a joystick controller so we do have joystick piloting and gen 2 D dts mercury control box hydraulic steering coming up in here to the bow a lot of space a lot of seating these are very tall gunnels on this boat looks like it should be pretty dry for how tall these gunnels are lots of cup holders lots of room here up in the front. I like how these seats pop up and down on this boat so you can have backrests or push them down and have like a bench seat. Little compartments that you can put your stuff, cell phone, all that. You got power right there, cup holders. I do like how everybody is putting power up in the front of the boat so that way you can charge your phone and stuff while you're up here. Console cushion right here for a nice seat. Then we come back here, we'll go ahead and take a look into the console of the boat. So you got, a, got your head right there, got a ladder right there, and um, just more storage, and there's your table right there. So there's the table for the bow. Got your battery switches and all that stuff in here in the console. Looking at the Wellcraft 263 Fisherman coming in at $230,280 here at the boat show. Looks like we've got twin V8 250s. 
Mercury's on the back. Lots of room here in the back transom. Dual live well, live well over here, and then also another live well in that corner over there. Cooler seat that, or like a cooler that just slides out, not really a seat. You've got a compartment right there for catching stuff. Also a little lip right here so you put stuff there. We've got our bench seat there in the back and we've got a door going out to the side right there. Really nice. I like the um, polished chrome um, handles on the sides and then the seats are like flip up. That's really nice. Dash, same thing, all black with this compartment up here that catches all of your stuff. The windshield opens up pneumatically. You've got um, two garments here on the front. All of the switches are right built into there, really flush, clean looking. Uh, we do like the look of that. Coming up here into the bow, you've got a little cooler on, looks like a slide. So you've got that whole cooler slides back and forth, which is interesting. Oh, I guess it has to, because you need to get into here and then to get into here where the head is gonna be in there. Lots of space in here. The speakers are kind of like sunk down into the cushions a little bit. They still stick out a little bit, but not too bad. The backrests are kind of like folded out to kind of like, you know, suck you into them, I guess you'd say. Windless on the anchor. 302 Fisherman from Wellcraft coming in just under 300,000 at 299. We got twin Yamaha V6, 4.2 liter 300s coming up into the back of the boat. We've got two live wells going right across the back of the transom. That is really sweet. Nice walkthrough coming up into here. We've got a refrigerator in the back of the leaning post and then two seats that flip up. One is a more of a bench seat so you can fit a couple more people on it. What's in here? I don't know. So this is like a wet station for tackle and um, prepping. You've got kind of like a little thing right there to hook it up or to set stuff up in here another little wet bar sink area type deal in there and then here is a sink with a spigot so that's what we got going on there look at this t-top has got this thing right there going all the way up with rod holders all the way around it that's interesting got a massive door on the side over here to get in and out of the boat from the side coming into the console here bucket seats separated got bolsters that'll flip up and down and then on the dash we've got joystick full maneuverability from yamaha hellmaster ex toggle switches so that's different um, into the dash got a panel that's kind of like built and put it in there yamaha gauge and then your gps garmin we've got this lip thing here to catch all your phone and all that stuff but then you've got four cup holders on the back of it that's pretty nice to do like that Inside the console here, got a interesting door that opens up like this. So the whole top is like slides open. So it gives you access to go down into here. And then you've got a head and a sink and um, the window, battery switches, all that stuff in there. Moving up to the bow of the boat. Again, more seating all the way around the bow with the backrest, a cooler that is locked into place, and then you've also got the leaning post. Well, not leaning post, but the front of the console, it's got a seat on it as well. Looks like there's some kind of storage in here, maybe even a cooler. I don't know about a cooler, but definitely more storage in there. Got the Dusky 278 XFY, looking at a twin 200 for 170,000 or twin 250s for 178. This one right here, as shown, we've got twin 250 Suzuki four strokes. And anybody that knows me knows that I love a Dusky for the price. This is a 28 foot, basically, boat. You've got the back here with a bench. You've got the leaning post here with um, what's in here, got a nice live well down in there, and then console, very plain Jane, but these things are a phenomenal ride for the price, direct from the factory to the consumer. One GPS, got a sim right here, rocker switches over here on the dash to control everything. 
Suzuki gauges, Xfinity radio, um, nice clean chrome Suzuki handles, but the back of the boat, very, very open, very, very ready for doing fishing, coming up into the front, all kind of green colors and stuff. Looking inside the console here, got your head down in there. There's your amplifier. We got a sink over here to the right. All, everything is accessible, super easy to maintain and control. Charging system right there. Again, your head, go ahead and close this. And over here in the bow, we've got seating all the way around, table in the middle, backrest right there, seat right here. As you'll notice, it is a very, very plain boat in the bow. You see how big this flare is, very, very pretty. There's not a lot to a Dusky, but a Dusky is super dry and a super phenomenal riding boat. So that's why I'm a big fan because for the price, it is less on the frills and more on the fisher or the consumer if you own the boat. Then here is the 278 Dusky XFT. 153 with the twin 250s and 145,000 for twin 200s. This one we've got twin 250 Suzuki four strokes, big huge bracket on the back platform so you can get out, pull your fish up in there. Coming into the boat, we've got a live well here in the leaning post. Lots of lots of access to that. And then in the back, you've got pretty much nothing. It's just ready for you to go out and fish. Got a seat back here got a box down in here so there's your fish box going up the gunnels lots of room in between the console look how much room you got in between the console and the gunnel console very plain simrad your radio controller got a gps rocker switches for controlling everything and then normal controls for the suzuki T-top with canvas, looking down here, going into the front. If you look at the flare and look at the bow, it's just super open, super wide. Put as many rod holders in it as you want. This one's got a Rodan. Looks like a, I don't know, maybe an 84, not 100% not on that. Maybe a little bit shorter than that. Got a coffin box right here in the middle. So another spot to put the fish, which another thing to sit on, but it's just really open, really clean, um, but it's a lot cheaper. You know, you're saving $100,000 compared to a similar boat, and that's why I like a Dusky, because they do ride so well. They are a very dry boat. Looking in here, it comes with a vacuum. If you buy this boat, you can get this vacuum. Um, just ask the person that's selling you the boat. All the, all the wiring, everything, super accessible, really clean, really open, easy to work on, easy to maintain, so... I think it's really a DIY friendly type of boat for somebody. Now we're looking at the 252 XF Dusky, 111 with the 300 or 122 with twin 200s. So this got the single 300. I would probably rather have the twin 200s, but um, I like this seafoam green type color. It's a real nice color to it going up into the boat. Got that normal Dusky flare to it, which I'm a huge fan of that. And then this one, actually, we've got a lot of seating around here, which is interesting. I like it. Lots of storage up there. Going around here to the back. Again, super open. Lots of room to get around in here. You've got a seat back here. A lot of people don't really want to see it. They put a cooler back here. You sit on the cooler. So that way you've got all that fishing room. We've got the live well built into the leaning post. And then we've got more storage up in here. So lift this up, you got all kinds of stuff for tackle and everything in there. Console, very plain, normal. We've got our rocker switches on the on the dash. That is a interesting sim right. I have not seen, look how like wide it is. Very interesting. And then up in here, just some storage, you got a VHF in there. Single Suzuki controller, T-top console with just a, uh, just a T-top canvas. Coming around here in the front, we've got the seating all the way around the bow. Again, that's lime green with the white. I like the color. Looks really, really nice. Normal dusky flare. Big, fat, wide gunnels around the top of the bow. But, I mean, that's, that's the dusky style, and i big fan of it. Leaning post here. Center console, I mean, seat up in the front. 
just a really plain boat. So if you're looking for a center console just to go offshore fishing and you don't want a bunch of frills, a bunch of stuff that can go wrong, I would definitely, definitely suggest looking into a Dusky because they're very plain, dry, good riding boats. Looking at a 280 Outrage, this thing's gonna run you 396,000 or 345,000 here at the show. Um, looking really good for 28 footer. Looks like we got twin 300s on the back. Live well here in the back corner. Real similar to the 30, but um, just a little bit smaller, more compact. We got battery switches back here in the back corner. A seat right there. Turn around here and look at the leaning post. We've got live well down here in the leaning post. So you got two live wells on the boat next to a sink. And then the dash looking really clean. We've got rocker switches going across the top. So all of everything is controlled by the rocker switches here. And then the rest of the dash has got this acrylic flush mount, which is really, really clean when it comes to the gauges. Nice looking steering wheel, We've got joystick on the boat. Come over here and take a look in the console. We got a head down there, really spacious, all the breakers and everything, very accessible right here in the console. And then looking at the front in the bow here, got a nice bench seat going across the front of the bow. So you can sit and face towards the back where you got this little like lounger thing in front of the console. So you can kind of socialize right there, which is Really, really nice. And then anchor locker right here up in the front. We got the 250 Dauntless here. This thing's gonna run you 206,000, 179,000 here at the show. Powered by a single 300 Mercury Verado V8 with a power pole on the back. This is really nice. Look at this back, how much area you have here. I mean, it's almost like laid out like a bay boat, but it's more like a deep V, so not gonna get as skinny in the water. I don't know what this thing drafts. Let me look at that real quick. It was something that I did not notice. So it looks like our draft is 15 inches. So you got 15 inch draft there. And um, the seats right here. So you got two little pockets that pop up into seats. That is really nice. I'm guessing that we've got our live well in here. So yep, nice live well down in there. And then these seats that kind of pop up. That's nice for seating in the back. Got a tackle storage center here on the back of the leaning post with a nice bucket seat with um, the bolsters that flip up so you can you know, use it as a leaning post or you can sit on there. Uh, sim rads here, got a nice little glove box compartment, catch all in there, so that's nice. Ooh, you got yourself a wireless phone charger up there with C-Deck going across the top of the console and then just some regular rocker switches for all the controls of the boat. Come up here to the bow, you've got these, look at those flip ups, those are nice. So you got flip up shocks that have that like locking mechanism. So like this thing, like, you know, you can push this out, I guess it is to lower it and then it locks in. So that way it locks it up. So that kind of flips up, give you nice backrest. So you can kind of lounge up here in the bow and look forward as you're going through the water or as you're hanging out at the sandbar. Another large lounger right here in the front of the console for, you know, four people up here, it looks like. Cup holders on both sides of both of these. You got four cup holders up here in the bow, so that's also really, really nice. Looking at the 280 Dauntless. So this one coming in here at 353,000, 307,000 here at the show. Looks like it starts out at $234,000. This thing is going to draft 18 inches. We got twin. 250 Mercury V8 Verados on the back of it. Lots of space here in the back. Um, look at this. So you got a massive bench seat with a table that flips up and then that thing flips down so you can kind of walk across it. You can see it's all non-skidded. So like a platform for fishing out the back here. And it looks like you've got the AC charger for your battery charger and a water wash down. So I do like that the Bench seat gives you lots of seating back here, but you can collapse it and then have a platform for fishing and stuff like that. And then also look, you got shade that is going to come up out of here. So you can run that back right there and shade the whole after the boat, which is nice. Tackle center down here below the leaning post, bolsters that flip up so you can either stand or sit, treat them like a seat if you'd like. Dash, you've got the Simrad is flush mounted, looking really clean. It's not as flush mounted as most of them. The acrylic must be a smaller piece of acrylic, but 
The, just like the other one, we've got a wireless phone charger up here with the C-Deck around it and kind of the catch-all on top of the console. Windshield that opens up, so that's really nice. We've got regular rocker switches all built into one solid piece of acrylic going across the whole dash, so that looks really clean. I do like that. Um, nice steering wheel, tilt, and cup holders with, look at this ridge that goes all the way around here. I do like that too, so that way when you throw stuff in here, you know, it kind of catches it, which is always really nice the bow is very similar to the other one where we've got these seats they're going to flip up as backrests so you can have yourself like a um, lounging area up there in the front two cup holders on both sides so same thing with the big lounger here in the front flip it up and you can have four or five people hanging out up here really comfortably got twin 300s live well in the back got the walkthrough transom back here it's nice because I got the aquarium live well with the viewing in the front nice tackle center right here cooler slides out dash both your seats Really open in the front. Come with a Rodan trolling motor. Console. Clean, super clean. Not sure one that is live well in the back of this one so it's just a lot tighter similar models this is the center console 262 cc cost 205,000 178 at the show all the specs dash is nice nothing really flush mounted here we've got the bucket seats on the console. The live well though, okay, here's the live well on the back. And I, I missed that. All your tackle center. Just an open center console. Seats that flip out. There's a little lever on the, actually they pick up and slide out for both of the wing seats for your back there. Console's nice. Opens up from the front. Put your head down there. See how they've got a thing right there, with a tag on it. So here we've got the 301 CC got a 600 horsepower twin 300s this has got again i like the two levels in the back got the seat in the back here very similar console layout these big bucket seats they're almost too big for the console but and again we're going down from 35 to 32 to 30 Dash, very similar. I like that. This has got joystick, Hellmaster EX, so pretty sweet. This looks about the same. Come around here. No, yep, table, only the table is down right now. The seat's not on it. And then that one over there is the 2800. Very similar. But let me see what this is. Our specs. So this one we got 327,284 at the show. There's all your specs. Got the Chris Craft Catalina 28. Looks like we're coming in at 441,000 here at the boat show, down from 490. This one, it looks like we've got twin Mercury Verado 300s. These things are painted to match the boat, just like all the rest of the Chris Crafts. Live roll here in the back really open across the transom 
Got a walkthrough in here. You know, this is a center console type model of a Chris Craft. Really, really decked out, flared out. Everything's custom, nice lines, really clean colors. Everything is matched. Seat in the back back here. The, got a sink right here that opens up. Wood mahogany, you got your tackle center down there. You've got a seat that comes out of the side over there. Looks like we've got a door in the side over on this side. Here is the console, clean, everything's flushed out. Really, really nice. Catch all up here in the front. Wireless phone charger right there, and then charge ports to plug in other stuff. We've got some switches right here for all the different stuff on the boat. I like the cup holders in there coming around here. This has also got like one single bolster that flips up and down, so it's one single seat. That's pretty intense. I like the wood right here, Chris Craft going across. Really nice looking. We've got a lot of storage up here in the front. Got our seats that lift up. So you got your backrest up in the front, curved bow like most Chris Crafts. Really clean lines is what they got. Coming in here to the front of the console, we've got a nice cushion seat all the way over in the front. Looks like this thing's gonna open up and have all kinds of storage down in there. So really, really nice. Got the Regulator 30XO. Looks like this thing is starting out at like 386,000. Looks like we're coming in at, let's see if I can get it here, $463,695 here at the boat show. Start here at the back, we got twin Yamaha V6 4.2 liter 300s. And what's interesting is on the back of the boat, I mean, it's almost like a bay boat type of style. You got three seats right here that flip up, but they flip down so you have like all this fishing area, this deck space, so you can get up here and walk around. And it's nice because when you're up here, you can actually reach these rod holders. So that makes it real nice to be up on this platform, reach these rod holders. You've also got a prepping station right here, so you can hold all of your, your knives and all that stuff. You've got all your tackle center, tackle, tackle center, here, center here. You can sit here and prep everything, do everything on your way out. And then coming up around here, when we get into the console, We've got this matte black acrylic flush mounted Garmin GPSs. I really like the matte black again because the shiny black, you know, it does take a lot of, um, it shows a lot of wear, a lot of dirt, stuff like that. You got all of your push button switches for all the stuff. Looks like we got Yamaha Helmmaster EX full maneuverability. So you got all your autopilot heading hold course, hold all that stuff with the joystick and phone charger right here. Coming up to the front of the boat, we've got plenty of seating all the way around it, but looks like the cushions do come out. So again, you got all that space so you can stand up on the, the bow of the boat and fish off of the side. So it's a lot of area to walk around. Looks like we got a Rodan trolling motor. I'm not sure if this is like a 96 maybe. Um, huge trolling motor, but I do like all the seating. I think these pop up. So maybe these do, maybe they don't. I'm not sure. No, nope. yeah, this will pop up. So this will come up, so that is like a backrest, so you can have, you know, pop that up and be lounging towards the back. Same thing on both sides, so you got two loungers up here in the front, and then also massive lounger up here in the front of the console. Armrests that pop down in here, you probably have a cooler, maybe a storage compartment. It looks like, you know, either or, whatever you want to use that as. Here at the 28 regulator, looks like this thing's starting out at 371,000. At the boat show, looks like we've got 431,000 for this one right now here at the boat show. Looks like we are powered by twin Yamaha uh, 4.2 liter V6s. It looks like that. Do not think those are V8s because I do not see, or not V8s, but 350s. Cause I do not see anything in the front, but they could be not 100%. Got a nice walkthrough back here to get to the transom. I'm guessing that both of these are going to be live wells here in the back of the boat. Got. Um, Yep, two live wells here in the back of the boat. Seat that'll come out right there. Look in here, you got a live well, another live well. So you got three live wells in the back of the boat. Leaning posts, got two bolsters right here. They'll flip down, turn into your actual seats. Helm, again, I love the matte black acrylic flush mount with the Garmin's. Looks super clean, look at that. That is just beautiful. Same thing with the radio, super clean, all flush mounted, push button, uh, control for everything, full maneuverability for Yamaha, Hellmaster EX, joystick, autopilot, the whole deal. 
phone charger here on the side. Coming up to the bow of the boat, we've got seating all the way around the bow of the boat. Tons of cup holders, tons of storage underneath the seats. And then looking over here at the front, we've got another compartment there. It could be maybe a, like a cooler or just a, a um, compartment to store stuff. Two seats, armrests fold down. Here we've got the, this is another deep V type of boat, Carolina Skiff 26. This one has a 300 on the back of it. And again, very similar to all the rest of these Carolina Skiff models. I'm not sure what exactly the model this is. It's the 26, but same thing, these flip down seats. So you got this like walking around deck space on the backpack here, and then you got a nice chair right there to so you sit down and fish off of. Live well back on the back of the console, or not the console, but the leaning post. Nice looking cushions. Dash is pretty empty. So pretty nice. So you can set it up however you want to set it up. And this one too also has those hinges. So this console will flip up and give you access. You can see those hinges there. So that thing will flip up. So you can get in here and use it as a head in there, which is pretty, pretty nice. I do like that. Again, you got your power up here. You can probably get um, you know, whatever you want for power up there. It's awful nice. What is this one going to run you? So this is going to be 93,000 for the 26 footer max 300. That's what's on there right now. Over here, we've got a sea chaser. Sea Chaser 26. This is more of like a like a bay boat style of boat. Got um, live well over here on the side. This one's got looks like a 250 on it. So we got a nice 250 horsepower Suzuki on the back. This one's going to run you 93,000. So 93,000, max horsepower is a 350. Is that what's on here? No, this has only got a, this has only got a 250 on it. So the max is going to be a 350 horsepower engine. That's pretty cool. I do like the black powder coating on the console. It does get hot if you're going offshore. So when you touch that, black obviously gets hot. But other than that, this is a pretty clean looking boat. Mm-hmm. Like the like the seats, console the same, very similar to the um, Carolina Skiff with the hinges right here. So that'll flip up. So you got a head in there, but just a lot. You know, this is less family oriented and more, like I said, bay fishing. You know, it's like more like a bay boat. Got a straight 26 feet. I'm sure this thing's quick. I don't know if it says how fast this boat goes, but um, it's got a 13 inch draft, max 12 people, 84 gallon. Very nice, very nice. Very similar model. Here's the next one up. So this is the 27 CC. So the 27 CC, very similar. We got the bow, nice and open, looking really good. It's a, does not have a leaning post, so this one's actually got this one's got a leaning post on the what one was this? So the 23, this is a 23, and it's got a leaning post. But then the 27, it has actual like tackle storage. It's got the bucket seats, got um, a live well there in the middle in the back. That's very nice. So this is going to be where you jump up in price. And I hear at 163,600 horsepower max, you can get twin 300s on it. This has got um, 27 foot length. What we got in the back of here at the show, we got twin 200s. And this one's called the Blue Water Series, 27 foot center console. It's got a what is the draft? It does not have a draft, so that's pretty funny, but come over here. We'll see what the paper says for draft. Looks like it's a draft. Does not have, does not say the draft, so that's pretty interesting. Now, 
over here, not sure which one this is. This one's actually got twin 300s on it. And this one, same thing, we got a door. Is this another 27? No, this is a 30. So we've got the 30, very similar to the bow. Bow setup, lots of seating up there. Um, live well on the center of the leaning post. Got a whole setup, bucket seats. Now the 30, it's going to run you 230,000. We've got 700 horsepower max, so you can get twin 350s. Um, again, there is no draft, so that is interesting. I don't know why they don't have that, but C Chase are 30. So, yeah, no, no draft again on this one. We've got 236,000. Got a max horsepower of the 450. 27 open. Twin power poles in the back. Live well is really open. Console. Here we go. This is the one I like. I like this right here. 2600. Scott, got a 300. 196,000. Max 450. 2600 TRS. Very similar to the rest of the Pathfinders. Seats in the back to flip up. We slide down for deck space to walk around. Consoles. Look really nice. Tackle storage on the back of the seating there, which is cool. I like the table that pops out. That's pretty nice. Got cushions in the front so you can walk around. But this is probably my favorite boat of a Pathfinder. It's this 2600 HPS. So this one right here is going to run you 164,000, 130 at the show. We got 450 max, the 2600 HPS, probably my favorite Pathfinder that they make. This one's got a 300, but you put a 350 on there, this thing is going to fly. I do. I'm surprised this doesn't have any power poles on it or a trolling motor, so that's pretty interesting. I guess they don't come with that kind of stuff because some people might want this kind of trolling motor or that kind of trolling motor, and they may not want the power poles, so interesting, but a seat in the back. This does not have the flip-up seats like the other one does, but it comes with this small console, and that's why I like it, is it's a small console, so that way when you look down these gunnels, you got all that room, which is pretty important when you're fishing. Like the T-top, I'm sure you can get, you know, no T-top, bucket seats, pretty nice, dash is plain and simple, and um, the front, yeah, open. You can kind of run around, got lots of space there, lots of storage, makes it really, really nice. And here we have the 2500 Pathfinder, just a big flat open front, opposed to having like dips in it, like the 26. 2600 HPS has a dip in the middle, whereas this one does not. It's just kind of like flat, goes up. Same console, T-top is this very similar. And then the leaning post, Pretty nice, and the seats in the back back here again, they flip up and fold down. You can't flip that one up, but that one's flipped up. So you can got this deck space so you can walk around. This one is gonna have a 300 on it, and then this is gonna run 162,129 at the show, max 400 horsepower, and um, 24 feet, 13 inch draft. What is the draft of the HPS? So the HPS has a draft of 15 inches, which I'm surprised. I thought it would be a little bit less, but it's like the 2500 hybrid has a less draft on it. Okay, here we got the 292 Legacy. So 286 and 228,000 boat show. I like the color. It's got a nice color to it. So that's nice. No, it's, it's just sick. It's on glass. Here we go here. Nice side door, come back in here, 
live well to the right. Looks like another, I don't know if this is a live well or a just a fish box. I think this is just a fish box. I don't really see. Yeah, that's just a fish box. It's not a live well. So looks so like you got twin 300s on the back of it. Nice. Uh, is this another live well? Looks like you got another live well here in the uh, leaning post. Come around here, cooler coming out the bottom of it. That's not bad. Dash again, not too bad. Pretty clean, like the flush mount. That is super slick. Everybody loves that. Buttons, bow's pretty open. And then the console at the head. Pretty nice. And here is the 274 Bay. So it's like we've got a, I'm not sure, got a 4, 450 on the back of it. So that's probably the Max Yamaha V8 450. The back looks pretty nice. Let's see what we got here. Really open in the back, which is nice. And I do like, looks like they got three seats back here. Or you can flip up, push to release, so you can lift up this seat. Very nice, very, very nice. Live well in the leaning post, dash, dash is same thing with the flush mount. Really clean. Bow looks really good. Really open. Flat. Console. Very nice. 252 Legacy. Got twin 150s. Nautic Star. It's got a nice gray color to it. I do like the gray. Quite a bit of people up on the boat, so I'm not going to go up too much. Bow. Same thing. Here is the 251 hybrid, 163,000, 130,000 show. It's like you can get a max horsepower of 350. It's got a Mercury 300 on the back. Nice clean, big boat. Got the Stingray 253cc. Looks like we're coming in at $136,000 here at the show. Normally like $168,000, so quite a bit of a discount. Looks like we've got some <laughs> Yamaha 150s on the back. Nice gray color on it. Coming up here, looks like we got DES, Digital Electronic Steering, so that's real nice. Got a live well in the back back here. Really nice, handy. Looks like we've got a seat here in the back that pops down. Got a bench seat there. Walk through door to the back of the transom. Tackle center right here in the back of the boat with a cooler that slides out. So you can sit here in the bench seat and then open up the tackle center. Kind of work across on here for your prepping station. Always a nice feature. Up here in the dash, we got an acrylic dash, phone charger, Garmin GPS, um, Helmaster EX control box, and then we've got Two bucket seats with arm chair chairs, like some bolsters that'll flip down, flip up, turn into a leaning post. Inside the console, we got a nice head. There's the amp for the stereo and a nice compartment underneath the sink as well as a sink to wash up in. Got these backrests from the in the bow here with seating, turn them into like loungers. And then also we've got a nice seat here in the front that is going to um, be a nice seat with armrests that flip down. Looking at the 305 LXF from Scout. We've got 500 horsepower maximum. Nice dark blue hole from Scout side door coming in here. 
got a nice bench seat across the back. Tackle storage here on the back gunnel. Looks like we got, I don't know if these are 250s or 300s, probably twin 250 Mercury Verados. Got the three rung ladder back here. Nice door to get in and out from the back. Sink area here in a leaning post. Another catch all area right there. Two rod holders. This looks pretty clean now. This is like bubbled out and the rod holders inset into like fiberglass thing. Two cup holders there. Looks like this thing's got Sea Keeper on it. T top, solid T top. We've got storage up there for your life jackets. It's over here. It's got a really nice area. I mean, lots of room between the gunnel and the console, the glass dash. So you got an acrylic panel, flush mounted garments, digital switching. Looks really, really nice. Looks like we got joystick from Mercury. And look at this little catch all. That's nice. You can put your phone stuff right there. Two more cup holders, radio controls, the bolster seats that flip down like those open up the console in here oh no this is not this is just a uh, storage for miscellaneous stuff which you got right there coming up here to the front we've got a really nice seating area up here you've got this little panel thing right here two cup holders little like catch-all um c deck stuff on the bottom of it and the you got a hold rail so as you're going you can hold that that's i like that nice lounger up here in the front of the console and then these two seats that are like loungers that look to the front with a table in the middle lip all the way around the table so you can put stuff on there it's not going to fly out looks like the table can come out and you can put a cushion down there in between so that makes it really really versatile if we come around here to the side take a look in the console here see what we got nice little sink right there we've got the head area there and then a bed so you can sleep comfortably. Looks like you've got the ladder here too. So that is for the side door to get in and out of the boat from the side door. Looking at the Scout 281 Signature Edition. Looks like this thing's gonna run about 407,000. Boat show price of 363. So get a nice deal. If you look here, we've got a ladder. You're gonna like this. We've got a live well, aquarium style, so you can see everything inside your bait, but you've got these steps here that climb up to the second station, which is laid out really, really slick. Kind of got a standing point right here on the console, on the leaning post, I mean, and that's kind of an interesting design. You don't see that on many boats. So I do like that. That's kind of a new feature. We've got a Mercury Racing 400 V10, two power poles on the back, and looks like we got two tuna tubes also built in. And my guess is that is going to be another um, live oil under there. Not 100% sure. Cooler underneath the leaning post. I do like these little steps in the back of the boat to get up to that platform. Seat is going to fold down. So you've got all that area back there to stand on to fish. we got two bolster seats right here that flip down, flip up. Armrests that flip up so you can get everything out of your way when you're fishing. Got this giant Garmin. Looks like a, probably a 24 inch flush mounted into the acrylic dash. We got a phone charger right here, two phone chargers on both sides. So you got two charging stations. Love it, that is awesome. Two cup holders. We got our zip weight controller right there. Mercury, next gen DTS controls. And we've got some compartments down here for storage. You got power right there. So really, really nice. Got another vessel view up there to see your engine data and the power pole controller is up there on the top. Coming around here to the front, looks like the bow is really open. So there's a lot of seating for being like a bay boat type style, but that is still got a massive platform up here in the front. So you can stand on fish off of, and everything is really laid out. So you can walk around really comfortably. Got a, like a lounge station here, seat in the front. Open this thing up, probably just a, yep, probably a fish box right there, storage, whatever you want. There is your fill for the freshwater tanks. So you got fresh water on board and the seats that lay back, you got a comfortable ride going in, going out, wherever you're going. Looks like we've got the Garmin trolling motor on the front of the boat. And those things are an awesome trolling motor. Around here to the side, if we take a look into the console, we've got a head down in here. You've got a propeller because you're going to need that 
and there's your battery switches, controls, stuff like that, breakers, all that stuff. Now we've got the new model, looks like the Scout 261 XSS. This thing's gonna run you about 246,000. Boat show price is 219,000. So pretty good deal. Looking in here at the back, looks like we've got a Mercury 400 V10, got a power pole. You're gonna like this, that this three seats in the back of the boat with cup holders in between, but they fold down so you can stand back here, nice platform to fish off of. So it gives a lot of space. Everything's really open, so that is really nice. And even got a little step right there, so you can go in and out of the boat. My guess is there's the um, going to be, that looks like an underwater light, but there's probably going to be a ladder that hooks in there somewhere. Live well is really positioned well, so you've got this kind of like prep station area where you can sit here and be looking at the live well and kind of get your bait out and prep everything up like that. Coming up to the console, we've got tons of tackle storage here on the side of the leaning post bolsters that flip up all black matte i like this blacked out edison steering wheel that looks really fresh got the speed wheel all that stuff acrylic panel for the dash flush mounted garment in here but i do like you got phone charger here and then also a second phone charger on the other side so you can charge two phones looks like we've got regular controls, zip weight controller, and then more storage compartments down there in the console. Coming up here to the front, similar to the 281, I think it was. We've got um, this platform up here that you can fish off of, but you also have this added seating area where you can you know, have comfortable seating as you're going, wherever you're going. And then also this um, leaning, you know, this lounge area here, in there probably like a, it's like a fish box or a storage area whatever you really want it to be down in here my guess is you've still got a head down in here so yep no not really a head but a porta potty and some controls for your batteries and breakers stuff like that got the scout 260 lxf coming in at 226,000, normally like 253,000. looking up here in the front We'll actually go back to the back here. It looks like we got twin Mercury Verado 200 L V6s. Actually, I'm not sure if these are Verados, but the tons of room here in the back between the engines and the transom. We got a live well over here in the back corner of the boat. Bench seat that folds out. Cooler underneath the leaning post with tackle center and then more tackle center stuff right there. Got a nice sink right here so you can wash your stuff i like this the prep station for your bait and rigs you got spots for the knives and all that kind of stuff coming up here to the, oh we got a side door on the side going out to the um, outside console we got two charge phone chargers on both sides of the console kind of hard to see because everything is blacked out but that is a charger right there we got twin gps's garments that are flush mounted into this black acrylic I mean, I do like this. I said this before. I like this all black Mac um, speed knob and steering wheel. It looks really, really fresh. Coming up here to the front, we've got cup holders, a catch-all little situation right here for phones, stuff like that. You got backrests, bow area where you can walk around and check out and hang out and sit around here in the bow. Got a nice lounger right there in the front of the console. And then inside the console is going to probably be just a head Yep, got a hand pump head. We've got both our battery switches and all that stuff, breakers and key switches. Got the Blackfin 302cc, starting at 300,000. Looks like this one is 338,000. I like the blue color. It's got a really nice, clean blue color to it. Coming over here, looks like we've got twin Mercury Verado 300s on the back, all whited out. Lots of space in between the engines and the transom to walk through. That's always nice when you're getting in and out of the boat from the back. Coming in here, we've got a cooler seat with a prep station. Got a sink in the leaning post. Not really a leaning post, you know, it's a prep station. Cup holders there. We've got another bench seat here in the back of the transom. Got an aquarium style live well right there. Got plenty of access. We've got a door out the side of the boat, so that's really nice. Dash is pretty, pretty normal. Black fin, all blacked out. Rocker switches down the sides. Garmin's all across the front of it. Radio, nothing's really flush mounted, but still looks 
really clean joystick piloting. I like the two bucket seats with the bolsters, so those look nice for the captain. Coming up to the front, a lot of angles on the boat. Looks really nice, got these flip out seats, so those kind of, looks like you can take this out, put it there, and it'll be a bolster right there. So that's pretty nice. I mean, there it is right there. That's what it looks like when it's not. So you got a cushion right there. You got power right here up in the front, two, rock, two um, cup holders, and then nice seating, spacious all the way around the bow of the boat. Got the Roballo R270. This one's $163,000 here at the show. We got twin F200 Yamahas on the back of the boat coming up in here into the boat. Got nice walkthrough rod holders all the way across the back of it. We've got the seat right here. You got the door right on the side of the boat, a seat in the back. We've got the live hole here in the back corner. You've also got a nice seat right here. Looks like it um, might fold up. I don't know, maybe a cooler or something under there. Probably like a cooler down in there. Up here in the dash, it's got a really big hard top. So if you look, you got shade all the way back here in the back of the cockpit and then going up into the front. The dash is all clean, nothing in it. So whatever GPS you want, ready to cut, put it in there. Phone charger there, all push button controls for everything that's on the boat. Radio, Clarion right there. Hellmaster EX Yamaha controls. Coming up here into the bow, we've got the table set up and you've also got a two backrests seating all the way around circular um, area up into the bow where the anchor goes and then also one seat here in the front of the console this is the r250 it is only 147,000. we got twin f-150s on the back of it the r250 lots of clean look on the back of the Revolo. that edge on the back of the transom that looks really nice with the logo right there looks really clean it's got a nice blue color coming to it we've got a door coming in to the cockpit area, bench seat going across the back of the boat, live well in the back port corner of the boat. Everybody seems to like to put the live well right there, cooler underneath the leaning post, bolster seats that flip up, also the armrest flip up, I like that, so it gets this stuff out of your way so you can kind of walk through here with not much stuff in your way. Dash is all clean, ready for whatever GPS is you want catch-alls up here, phone, all that stuff with drains. Looks like you got a thing that'll open up the windshield if you want. Looks like it's manual or I'm not sure. But then we've got push buttons all over the front here on the sides. This little Clarion radio, that's pretty, pretty cool. I like how it's little, it's compact, it's nice tucked away. Push buttons for all the controls. And then up here in the front, in the bow, we've got backrests, circular seating around. Looks very comfortable. One seat right here in front of the console. Pursuit S288 Sport, looking like just at $400,000, $356 here at the show. Got a side door going out the side there. This has got a really nice wood accent all the way around the boat. Cup holders down there. Got like a catch-all situation there to put stuff. I like that. Nice bench seat here on behind the leaning post. And then we've got another bench seat right there so you can sit face to face. Pretty nice. I'm not sure if this here opens up. I'm sure it does. I just don't know where the handle is. And then in here, you've got your live well coming out there. We've got shade all over the back of the boat. So from back here, you got all kinds of shade. We got twin Yamaha F300 V6 4.2 liter engines. Lots of space on the sides of the engines, which makes it really nice when you're fishing to get around there. The console looks like we got joysticks, so you got full maneuverability or level four from Yamaha. It's controlled digital electronic systems. Rocker switches built into the acrylic paneling, all labeled looking really good. Flush mounted GPSs. I like the way that looks. Oh, I like this, how that is indented and it's like really nice, um, you know, like fabric almost right above the stereo, little spot right here, charge ports, you can charge your phone in there. The, we've got a sunroof up here in the top, and then two seats that'll bolster down, turn it into a leaning post or a seat. Coming up here to the front of the boat, bow cushions all the way around, backrest, so you can put two people on each side comfortably. We got cup holders on both sides of the boat, and you've got two seats right here with armrests, 
Let's look inside the console. Nice, spacious head. I like this. This is really nice. Look at the, you got a compartment right there. Um, there's the table for the back or in the front bow. I'm not sure where. You've even got the head right there with a sink. That is really spacious. So I'm surprised about that. I think that looks really good. Got the S268 Sport from Pursuit. Here it's coming in at 260,000. 231 for the boat show. The bow, really nice seats on both sides, backrest, storage below them. You've got the center console, has a nice seat on it. And it looks like this opens up, I guess. Oh yeah, so that is sweet. So that opens up to the head. Um, I like that, that's really nice. Got a little sink in there. We close this. And then go around here to the back. Looks like we got twin Yamaha F200s for the, for the power of the boat. Lots of room on both sides of the engines. You can kind of walk around. Got a live well back in the corner. We've got a seat right here. So you can sit down in the back and then we've got our tackle station right there, prep station. Nice little piece of starboard. You can put hooks, tools, pliers, all that stuff right there. That makes it really nice. I like the dash being flush mounted GPS's and then also all the rockers for controlling everything on the boat up here on the console. Got two bolsters that flip up and down, leaning post seats in the helm. Got the 252 open. It's gonna look at a 215,000, 157 at the show. Got a max of 350. It's got twin 150s on there, so you could do twin 175s or a single 350. Same thing, walk through transom. A lot of the aquarium style live wells here. So you get the back with the seat, folds out. Very similar to the other one. You got the cooler seat, comes out from underneath the leaning posts. Kind of like bucket seats, opposed to like a bench seat. So that's nice. Dash is very similar. Nice little foot rest. Bow, very open, very white. Very similar. That right there is the Next one, a bunch of people on there, so I'm not gonna get on there, but same thing, got the seats. Two sixty two open. Two fifty eight, hundred and ninety two. It's got a max of four fifty on this one. So he's got twin two hundreds. Same thing, here's the two eighty two. Very similar. 344, 255, got a max of 600. Looks like we got twin 300s on there. Take a look at the 28 come up here. Through the side door. Now we've got twin live wells with the aquarium style. This has got a much bigger T top opposed to the other one. And dash bucket seats got cup holders in between. Nice. Inside looking nice with the rigging looks really nice in here. Ladder storage. That's nice. big table here see I don't know if that one the other ones did not have the t table so until you get to the 28 you don't get a table but valves very similar here we got the 302 411 and 305,000 max of 700 horsepower we've got twin Yamaha 4.3 liter v v6s the 350s Oh, it's got two doors on this one. The other one only had one, I think. No, the other one had two, so it's got two. Same two live walls in the back, aquarium style. 
the seat that pops out of this one's a little cooler there. It's different. Console looks very nice. Inside, ladder storage, same place. Very similar layout, with a little bit more room. Window in there. Bow. Heritage 261, 278,000, 207, max 450. Okay, 2200 on it. 